If you're using WooCommerce, I want to talk about this new high performance order storage. It's, you know, it's kind of being put out there as it's going to really increase the performance of your store. Should you turn it on? Let's go ahead and talk about that real quick. So here we are on the WooCommerce site. They're talking about this platform upgrade for high performance order storage. And they're talking about basically how you can turn this bad boy on. Now it came out, it's, it's official by the way. It's not a beta thing anymore. It's actually part of the stable release. Um, and it's going to vastly increase the performance of your store, which, you know, if you use WooCommerce, you probably have seen that it's not always the fastest thing in the world, okay? Um, and so what this is basically gonna be doing, it says right here, will unlock major upgrades for your online store, including a 5x improvement in order creation speed, one and a half times faster checkout, and they say finding an order will be up to 40 times faster. So basically what they're doing here is they're they're making the way that it stores data in your database a heck of a lot more efficient because <laughs> kind of stupidly actually, WooCommerce has been storing order data in the post table of the database, kind of mixed up with all of your blog posts, kind of putting it in there as a custom post type with uh, all the, the, the order information going in as custom fields essentially in the post meta. That's all a bunch of dorky stuff, but basically it's just kind of stupid how it got mixed in there. It really should have been in its own set of database tables all along. Well, now it is. This whole uh, high performance order storage or HPOS, uh, don't get any weird ideas about the POS part. Um, it's uh, it basically doing what they should have been doing all along. It's moving this data into its own set of tables, which is going to make it much, much faster. Now, will you really notice that much of a difference? It really depends on your usage of WooCommerce. If you're using it and you've, you've got a lot of orders in there and you're running a lot of activity, the difference might be more noticeable. If you're using WooCommerce essentially to sell some information products and that type of stuff, and you know it's not like you've got thousands and thousands and thousands of orders in there, well then how much you're gonna notice it, it, it may not be that big of a deal, but I still recommend that you turn it on. You kind of might as well. So let's talk about that. So where you're gonna find this is if you go to WooCommerce, go to settings, okay? Once you're on the settings tab, pop on over to your advanced tab here, okay? And then you're gonna to wanna to click on the features area, okay? And you're gonna see a thing in here that says order data storage, and this is where you can have it. Now on this site, this is my site, um, we it's still using the legacy system. So basically it's putting everything in the post storage, which uh, is weird. I mean, really, I don't know why they were doing that. So the first thing, you'll see that this has been grayed out. I can't switch yet. So what you need to do is you would need to check this box to enable compatibility mode, and then it's gonna to need to synchronize everything, okay? Now what it's gonna do is it's gonna create those new tables and it's gonna go ahead and sync uh, your existing order history over to the new location, okay? And then once that's been done, then you can actually swap over to high performance order storage. And then I did it over in staging here. I tested it over in staging, and you can see here that uh, it's been done. This particular version is now running on the high performance mode, but I've kept the enable compatibility mode in place. Now, I may go ahead and turn this off at some point, but basically, if you keep this box checked, it's going to make sure that it's storing your order data in both the old location and the new location at the same time. And that basically means that any WooCommerce add-ons and stuff like that that you might be using that might not be yet you uh, you know using the the, the, the new setup or any plugins that are looking in the data for data in the old location might still work. Okay. But uh, if you're using everything up to date, you could probably even uncheck this um, enable compatibility mode and just use the new high performance mode. And then that's basically all that you would need to do. Now, one thing you may see when you go to actually make this change for your site is that it won't let you because it's warning you about incompatible plugins. And so if you do, have that problem. Basically, your only hope is to disable those plugins altogether. And so you'll need to look at what plugins are incompatible, see if you need them or not. Um, you could just wait around for the plugin developers to fix it, but if they don't fix it anytime soon and you wanna go ahead and switch over to the high performance storage, you're basically gonna have to deactivate those things. Uh, so on a few client sites, I've seen that, yeah, we have to turn off, I gotta check with the client, be like, hey, are you okay with not using that particular ad? 
hat on. Uh, in most cases, they're like, yeah, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. We turn it off, and then suddenly I can make the switch over to the high-performance mode. So that, keep that in mind for sure. I still recommend that you take your site into a staging site and go ahead and test it there first rather than doing it on a live site first. You want to make sure that everything that is... you talking to WooCommerce is still going to work and you're not going to break anything. So I do recommend testing it and staging. And then if it's working there, go ahead and go live with the bad boy and make the switch on the main site. Uh, it should only help with the storage uh, and the uh, performance of the store. Again, how noticeable it will be to you is really going to depend on just how much order history you have in the site and just how busy everything is. Um, but it won't hurt anything. I mean, as long as, long as you're not using some kind of an add-on that really requires a legacy setup. Okay, so that is the new WooCommerce high performance storage in a nutshell. That's how you turn it on. It's not very dorky, really. They make it sound a little bit dorky, but it's not too bad. Um, and you might as well turn it on and see how it actually works if you don't have any incompatibilities. But again, just testing and staging and see. And if you need my help to do this, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help you do it. Um, I've, I've switched over a few of my clients. I'm, I've already tested my own site in staging. I'm about to go ahead and do it on the main site, might as well. Um, and, um, and we'll go from there with a little bit faster stores. All right, we'll talk to you later.